It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Mr. Speaker, here's the latest reality game. Let's play Wall Street bailout. Rule one, rush the decision. Time the game to fall in the week before Congress is set to adjourn and just six weeks before an historic election so your opponents will be preoccupied, pressured, distracted, and in a hurry. Rule two, disarm the public through fear. Warn that the entire global financial system will collapse and the world will fall into another Great Depression. Control the media enough to ensure that the public will not notice that this bailout will indebt them for generations. Rule three, control the playing field and set the rules. Hide from the public and most of the Congress just who is arranging this deal. Communicate with the public through leaks to media insiders. Limit any open congressional hearings. Communicate with Congress via private teleconferencing calls. Heighten political anxiety by contacting each political party separately. Treat members of Congress condescendingly, telling them that the matter is so complex that they must rely on those few insiders who really do know what's going on. Four, divert attention and keep people confused. Manage the news cycle so Congress and the public have no time to examine who destroyed the prudent banking system that served America so well for 60 years after the financial meltdown of the 1920s. Rule 5. Always keep in mind the goal is to privatize gains to a few and socialize losses to the many. For 30 years, in our in one financial scandal after another, Wall Street game masters have kept billions of dollars of their gains and shifted their losses to American taxpayers. Once this bailout is in place, the greed game will begin again. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. But I have a counter game. It's called Wall Street Reckoning. Congress shouldn't go home to campaign. It should put America's accounts in order. To Wall Street insiders, it says, no, on behalf of the American people. You have perpetrated the greatest financial crimes ever on this American Republic. You think you can get by with it because you are extraordinarily wealthy and the largest contributors to both presidential and congressional campaigns in both major parties. But you are about to be brought under firm control. First, America doesn't need to bail you out. It needs to secure the real assets and property, not your paper. That means the homes and properties of hard-working Americans who are about to lose their homes because of your mortgage greed. There should be a new job for regional Federal Reserve banks. We want no home foreclosed if a serious workout agreement can be put into place. And if you don't do it, we want a notarized statement by a Federal Reserve official that they tried and failed. Second. Taxpayers should directly gain any equity benefits that may flow from this historic bailout. We want the American people to get first priority in taking ownership of the institutions that want to pass their toxic paper on to the taxpayers. Third, before any bailouts for Wall Street, America needs major job creation to rebuild our national infrastructure. America needs assets, not paper. We need working assets. Fourth, the time for real financial regulatory change is now, not next year. A modernized Glass-Steagall Act must be put in place. We need to reestablish locally owned community savings banks across this country and create within the Justice Department a fully funded unit to prosecute every single high-flying thief whose fraud and criminal acts created this debacle and then force their disgorgement of assets going back 15 years. Fifth, any refinancing must return a major share of profits to a new Social Security and Medicare lockbox where the monies can go to pay for a dignified and assured retirement for every American. 
This member isn't voting for a penny of it. Those who created and profited from this game of games must be brought to justice. The assets they stole must be returned to the American taxpayers right down to the tires on their Mercedes. I'm as bad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore.